What's up everybody, my name is Justin and today we're going to be doing a budget AMD AM1 build. The parts that we're going to be using for this budget build is the AMD Symphron 8350. The motherboard that we're going to be using for this build is the ECS KAM1-i Mini ITX board. For the memory I have 4 gigs of Crucial's 1600 speed DDR3 RAM uh, and it's all in an N1 BP series Mini ITX chassis. For the storage, we're just going to be throwing in a 320 gig Western Digital Blue Drive that I had just laying around. Now this is not going to be a very powerful system at all. This whole build cost me less than $150. This system is only meant to really go on the internet, do some basic web search, uh, play some YouTube, and be able just to edit Word documents and stuff like that. So let's get started with the time lapse.
So as you can see, I have the computer back here along with all my other computers here. Um, so I've got it plugged in and we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of benchmarking just to kind of get an idea of the performance of this guy. Alright, I loaded Windows 10 on this and I'm not going to do a whole lot of benchmarking. In fact, I think I'm only going to run Cinebench um, just because I know this thing can't handle much. So I'm going to start with the OpenGL test and we're going to do this in real time so you can see uh, this thing. Clicked run, and it says prepare. Preparing project. So I guess we wait now. There we go, finally got something on the screen there. Oh man, look at that hold two frames a second. <laughs> I'm surprised this is even running at all. Man, that's bad. Oh, it's starting to speed up a little. Huh. It's doing better than I thought it was going to. Alright, so we have an average frame rate of 12.12 .12 frames a second. Which is better than I thought it was going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and run the CPU test real quick. In ranking, it gave us a 7.4C slash 4T. All right, here we go. This is really exciting watching a bunch of squares load on screen. At least this thing's clock courses four at a time. Where did I go? Oh, there. Oh my gosh. This is a whopping 1.3 gigahertz, by the way. Okay, let's mention that this AP only costs twenty-five dollars, so I'm still kind of impressed for twenty-five dollars. But let's guess we'll see when the results come. Which right. There. Man, this is so slow. I'm probably going to speed this up a little bit. Back away, get slacking.
so close to being done. It's still gonna take a minute. Or five. Oh man, finally, wow, that ranked the lowest out of every th uh, everything on there. So it's ranked at 8.4 C slash 4 T at details. It gave it a score of 90. Man. And the GPU score was, uh, wow, yeah. So all in all, this little, for $25, this APU was a little bit more than I thought it was going to be, but it's still just for basic tasks. So that's why I'm only running this one benchmark because I'm not going to load it up with a bunch of other stuffs because it's not, I don't feel like it's capable. <laughs> so, all right, so that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little build that I did here. Um, it's pretty expensive and it's going to be used um, just uh, from my mom as a work computer. So uh, that's about it. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.